Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film, The Raid Redemption. 20 police officers go to raid a tenement building that is run by an evil crime lord, and they aim to take him down, doing a sudden raid on the tenement building that he runs and rules over, and they have to go from the first floor to the 15th floor, where his main hangout is, and try to fight their way up there. The main boss has two henchmen, one that's like this mad dog guy, who everyone knows will like is a crazy killer they warn him about him in the beginning so you know he's gonna be a badass villain and then you have this other guy who's a little more reserved but just really just as deadly it's like exactly what your mom says like death wish 3 would be like she'd be like there's no character there's no story all they're doing is shooting and hitting each other this is very much a b action movie but it doesn't give a fuck about the b plot it just wants to show you fighting and lots of fighting this is ultra violence this is hyper violence this is a lot of violence it starts with kind of more like john woo action then you get into like martial arts action the main star of it eco uis eco uis I think that's how you say his name. I don't know. I apologize. But he is just, it's like thrilling and amazing to watch him work. The physicality behind it. How he can take down like 20 and 30 guys in a hallway scene. And it's like visually amazing. The choreography to it is just like thrilling. All the choreography through this whole film is amazing. Everything about this film's plot is an action movie cliche. It's not really interested in saying really much of anything. What a lot of younger action directors are like is they're very light on plot or any real meaning but they're heavy on having these awesome action sequences and this movie is the such the extreme version of that that I think it's really smart this movie is like a greatest hits of martial arts and action movies almost monotonous how much violence is in this movie and how extreme the violence is it just like it gets incredibly ridiculous you know I know that seems to be one of the things we have in our action movies and our horror movies we have these really extreme ridiculousness in terms of the violence and the gore and what we're showing people that like you're almost laughing in the theater and this is that idea pushed up to 11 but in a glorious way gareth evans who uh even though this is an indonesian film he's welsh he gives you what you want you know and what you want is a mindless silly action movie this is like what i want ninja assassin to be this is what i want faster to be this is what i want from the crappy bootleg I'm getting from the bootleg guy on the street corner. This is really what I want. You know, when I have to fast forward through like bad acting and like pretending like there's an overall theme or something, this extreme, violent, kind of kinetic, crazy movie. You know, it's like when tom someone told me to see Ricky O, they're like, oh man, you're not gonna believe it when this guy explodes this guy's head. It's crazy. And I haven't really seen a movie like that in a little while. This movie just wants to be an action movie. It does not care and that's what I love about it. It's empty, it's vapid, but that works so well for it. So if you have seen The Raid Redemption and you would like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to. A couple people walked out when like someone, I think it was early on, someone put a gun right next to someone's face and shot it and all this blood went everywhere and this old guy went, yep, I'm leaving. My only complaint was I thought the score by the guy from Linkin Park or something, I wasn't very into that. I'm not really a Linkin Park fan. I thought it was a little too much trying to do what like Trent Reznor is already doing and not really that interesting. It was all right, but I kind of wish it had a better score. Some places I actually liked the score, but I, I was not that into it. This is one of the big cult movies that's gonna come out of this year. You know?